Guys, I'm starting to get sick. Winter's on its way, and I'm wearing two sweatshirts. I'm, I'm feeling a little ill. I gotta shave, I'm greasy, I need to shower, etc., etc. Anyways, I'm in the fish room because it's all I care about. Um, today's question or video topic is on aquarium airline check valves and what I think of them. Uh, I'm gonna show you what these look like. Basically, um, this is what they look like. Uh, let me grab one, sorry, that's a terrible view. Um, a little check valve. And basically, it is an inline fitting. Wow, I'm just being special right now, sorry. It's an inline fitting you put on your airline when going to an air stone or just essentially anything in your aquarium. And this is uh, like a safety procedure in case water wants to backflow back outside of your tank like catch siphon and start emptying your tank essentially on the floor and in thought this is a great idea and it only allows air to go in one direction and in thought why do i keep saying that in thought it's such a weird thing to say but in theory maybe that's better in theory that this is a great idea because the thought of emptying your tank on the floor is a it's a disaster essentially so I use these for years and years and years but over time I grew to hate these stupid things and the reason is because I swear to God these things like flaw out somehow and it's just another added thing that can go wrong when pushing air to your air stone slash sponge filter or whatever I completely removed all of these from all of my systems and you may think well that's stupid because now you have the thought of the catastrophe happening of what you just talked about but um, what you need to do instead of using these things because like half of the things produced in this industry the they're a complete waste like there's so many sales pitch items in this industry that are complete just flaw stupidity and I believe this is one of them maybe some of you guys are gonna argue with me till I'm blue in the face but all you have to do is run your air pump higher than your fish tank what I will commonly do uh, say if you have like a single tank and a living room or something is just put your air pump on top of the tank and you don't have to use these some of you guys may argue like well I don't want an air pump on top of my tank well then use these but if you're at like a next level fish keeping where you, uh, maybe you have a bunch of tanks and you're just looking for just you know like I want as much airflow to all of my tanks as possible and these things I swear to God reduce the airflow over time these things flaw out and I've even like after a year of use tried to blow through it and I couldn't even blow through it and that's the whole idea of what this thing does so I'm completely convinced these things aren't needed in the industry and you don't need them but I guess it's a good train of thought a nice idea if you're I don't know I'm I'm biased on these things you need to let me know in the comment section because maybe I'm being an idiot with these things and you've never had any issues but that is my personal opinion and I'll never use these things again if somebody wants to come over to my house and take all of these I have bags and bags of them I will hand them to you free so if that gives you any idea how much I believe in them I'm just blabbing guys like I said I'm kind of getting sick I'm just I'm like weak of breath it's getting cold outside I'm ready for winter though because I was sick of summer I'm sick of the humidity I'm just babbling now but aquarium airline check valves is what these are called now that I think about it. little check valves I'm not convinced on them let me know in the comments if, if you want some more info past my personal opinion visit the comments I will pin the best comment on what you think of these things and maybe aside my judgment use that so all right guys I'm out